Oh, it's cool times. Gang gang to my cats, sub to all my ducks. There have been some projects minting this past week that have gone crazy, chain runners, feudals. So I want to make a video today on the next projects that could 10x, 50x, 100x. And just want to thank you guys so much for the support on the last couple of videos. We're up to 3.4k subscribers. I would love to get it up to 4k. That'd be super cool. I'd be able to be like, I saw you guys in 4k. That'd be sweet to say. The Discord's also been insane, like crazy alpha in here. I called Wolf Game in my Discord last Thursday, like way before everyone else. So a lot of calls in there, a lot of other people giving crazy alpha. So definitely enjoying that. But today I want to talk about those mints that when they happen, you're like, fuck, I missed out on that. How did I not know about that? I want to talk about those mints today, the 100X mints, the ones you definitely don't want to miss out on this week, even though it's Thanksgiving week. Uh, these are the ones you're definitely going to be looking out for this week and next week. So let's just get right into it. The first Twitter account you definitely need to be following right now is Random Character Collective. I think this is the future like collective of creating like great doodle slash cool cat style art. And it comes from really reputable artists and they've already had a proof of concept for a couple of, uh, for another project they dropped. Um, so they just dropped Slim Hoods. So this is already launched and the floor is really low on this. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to do, but I really love these characters. I love that they're moving. Um, Beeple's like one human that sold for like 29 million at Christie's the other day had like this movement walking style to it. And I think the walking style is going to become really huge for like digital art because it's the static profile picture art is going to become out of date very quickly. So I love like the, the movement on these. Um, but Random Character Collective, it's coming from this guy, James Curran, and um, he has a, a studio, it's called Slim Jim Studio. So we're going real deep research here. James Curran, Slim Jim Studios, he's done work for like eBay, Samsung, Disney, Mobile, IFC, really, really big companies, and he's getting a bunch of great artists together to make digital art. So we're starting to see these collectives go out and find the best talent and bring them in to make nfts and that's a little bit what we saw with slim hoods but the reason why you need to be following random character collective right now are these two projects right here invisible friends and mood rollers which i think have tons and tons of upside just like doodles just like cool cats so let's take a look at these the first one is invisible friends and on the art alone i'm so into it it has the same type of walking mechanism to it it's got 3,000 likes on it, super hyped up. And again, I'm just sold on the art alone. So we don't have any real concrete announcements about Invisible Friends. We just know the artist. Um, we, we just have the Twitter. So I would follow this, try to get on the whitelist, whatever, whatever it takes to get into this project um, is super important because I think it has doodles type potential. Again, no roadmap, no website at the moment. It's still pretty new. But when you look at this like art here and you just see the hype around it, I think it's definitely going to be a, a project you definitely want to pay attention to. Along with um, Mood Rollers, which is also coming from Random Characters. Uh, and this is made by Lucas Zanato, who I'll show you guys real quick. Lucas has been very active in some other discords. And he's also somebody who has a real art background to him. Um, as you can see in this website here, uh, Fast Company, they did a whole article on Lucas and uh, how he made six figures doing NFTs. So he's got a lot of literature made about him. He's super active in discords. And I actually saw a psych from Deadfellas, the developer of Deadfellas, shout out Lucas and Mood Rollers earlier uh, today. So I think a lot of people within the community are going to respect these projects because of how art forward they are. So we're going to have 5,000 mood rollers, a little bit more information on this one than the invisible friends. We have a discord available. Again, I try to grind as hard as possible for these because the art is the proof is in the pudding. The art is amazing. So, um, he even, even has like really cool elements of part of this project that I haven't seen before where like the, the frames per second, um, he's got like a bunch of loops for like the gifs, like a really cool, like under the hood type stuff. But this is one of the mood rollers here. And again, I just think it, it has really cute art that, you know, maybe some kids are going to get for Christmas or maybe some DGens like us are going to be flipping on open sea. But um, we saw the proof of concept with um, the slim hoods from random characters. Now they have these two other projects. So definitely follow random characters and watch out for these two projects. The art is insane. 
They're not static. They're moving. I think this is the future of NFTs. So definitely try to grind out for the whitelist on these. We don't have information on when like they're exactly minting, but look out for these because they're definitely legit. The next project I want to talk to you guys today about is PX Mythics. Again, we don't actually have a date on this one and some of the other projects I'm going to mention later do have dates, but this roadmap is insane. And um, it's a little under the radar right now, but um, basically it's like a, a Greek mythology pixel project when you just think of it in like artistic terms. But then you start to really look at this roadmap and you start to see the mechanics behind it. And that's what you have to do with these projects because you looked at like Wolf Game and you just thought, saw like pixel wolves and didn't really like think much about it. But when you started to think of the game theory mechanics behind it, that's what made it so useful. So um, they have a whole phase one with the Genesis collection and there's going to be a token involved, which is really cool. But the reason I love this project so much is what the utility of the token actually is. So you have something called power and you see this all the time. There's like these different projects and they're coming out with their token. But at the end of the day, if you're not actively breeding and if you close minting and breeding, the token usually has no value at all. But this is one of the first projects I've seen that actually has utility for the token that matters post minting. So you see there's the gen uh, Genesis and all that cool shit. But the, the thing that I love about this so much is that you can actually use your tokens to upgrade your NFT into a rare NFT. So this is kind of what they're talking about, the creature's ascension. Um, the first main utility of the PX Mythics ecosystem is the power token, which can level up the creature. So basically think of like Pokemon. You could use your tokens to like level up your Charmander to a Charizard. Obviously, a Charizard is going to go for way more money. So I think you're able to use this token to actually increase the value of your NFT and ch literally change the metadata. So I've, I've really never seen this happen quite like this before. We're evolving based off the token. And you can also gain tokens by like burning creatures, as you can see here. So there's a burning mechanism. There's an upgrade mechanism to it. It's a lot more useful to me than just like, oh, you can mint a sheep. And then you're going to mint 20,000 sheep. And then eventually like the price of wool is going to go down. Like this has a very like interesting ecosystem to it. So I really recommend you guys reading the white paper on this. Um, a lot of uh, really interesting stuff here that you probably want to do your own research on. Um, the next project is Swampverse. Now I do have a release date on this one, November 27th. Yeah, this is probably a project you've heard about, but I just want to like, hammer at home that this is going to be a huge one. I think it definitely has like that sub ducks type vibe to it. Um, and we've seen like the influencers get involved with it already. Like I think I saw phase banks was saying he was, yeah, phase banks replied to one of the swamp verse tweets and said, I haven't been this excited for mint ever. So you're probably going to get some big influencer tweets on mint day. I mean, guys don't listen to influencers all the time. Don't even listen to me. This is not financial advice. But the thing is, if, if we're about to see banks like shill this hard on mint day and then maybe get like a Gary V tweet or something like that. I mean, that holds a lot of weight, but the reason why swamp verse is so cool is they just got some really cool mechanics. Same thing. They got the token. It's the, the pixelated art that everyone loves. They have the Genesis toads. So you're going to be able to yield a token. There's going to be a 3d voxel version that you can um, unlock with the token. So again, some cool mechanisms there that aren't just like minting. So um, that's interesting. Also the mysterious creatures, apparently you can get airdrop if you burn two toads together in your wallet, you get a mysterious creature. So there's some game theory stuff. I love when you're when projects challenge you to burn things and make a choice, like, should I burn this? Should I keep it? Should I get this new creature? Like that's the game theory type stuff that made Wolf Game so successful because those things go very viral. The one thing about Wolf Game that went very viral was the fact that people could go in and steal sheep. And so people were tweeting like, oh my God, I got wrecked. Like someone just stole like all my sheep and all my wool uh, through their wolves. Like I think this could have some sort of like, uh, viral uh, aspect to it just because you can burn your toads and make a creature. Same thing with the last project I just talked about. There's sort of that viral element to it. Um, but let's, let's keep it moving here. Build a bite. This is a crazy project. Like I'm not saying this is going to blow up, but this is one of the most unique projects I've seen in a while because you're actually 
taking different pieces of an NFT and building your NFT together based on those parts. So let's go to the website here. Yeah, so this is the website. It's really like low key, um, but it gives you all the information you need for a white paper. Basically, you'll be able to buy certain parts of these bytes and put them together, um, kind of using a breeding mechanism to create one byte. So uh, some game theory involved as far as um, how you want to create your NFTs and which will be the most sought after ones. Back here on the, the Twitter, um, it even says here, the layers bits are sold separately and can be combined to, to create a bit, um, a byte. So um, super low mint cost. It'll cost $25 plus gas fees just to get one of these skeleton bits. So that's just the first layer. So you're gonna need multiple components to put these things together. So I think that this could just have some viral element too as people start to collect these and put them together. It reminds me of like Tom Sachs Rocket Factory on a much smaller scale. Basically Tom Sachs Rocket Factory, you had to get like the head of the rocket, you had to get the bottom parts of the rocket, rockets and like actually put it together. And that went kind of viral for a couple months. So I think on a much smaller scale that this, um, could have a little bit of those elements to it as well. And the thing I like about it is because it's so cheap, it's actually a great entry point. Like even if you just want to get a couple of these bits, like they might un end up becoming valued because other people will need these to create their own bytes. So um, really, really cool uh, NFT idea here and uh, pretty nice entry point. It's so cheap. And I think once you're able to like build these together, we'll, we'll see actually what this becomes. But at the moment, like, Something definitely to check out. Okay, the next project I want to talk about is Block Burgers, OG Metaverse food truck. Um, they just dropped something really cool here, which is saying they're going to be doing like an anti-gas war drop tomorrow. So definitely watch out for that, 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, so it's a reserve and claim mechanic. Uh, so that's super tight. So definitely watch out for that. You'll have a couple different options to, to claim. Um, if you want to do your public reserve, that's tomorrow at 2 p.m. But I really love the white paper here because there's like some important like words and phrases here that like stick out to me. Um, you have the baloney token and you have staking. So you have the full tokenomics. The baloney token will be released at a later date. So um, they have an ecosystem they're kind of developing here and they're also gonna have a burn window. Um, transformative and deflationary mechanics, like just the really cool like buzz phrases that like speak to me when I'm thinking as an investor. But really their 2022 and beyond roadmap is really what's what's cool about this. Yeah, so you have you could stake, you can burn. It's a really cool roadmap here. 30% of all royalties from secondary sales will be utilized for future marketing activity and floor sleep, sweeps for the block burgers collection. So I just think it has a really detailed floor or uh, a really detailed roadmap. And then for 2022 and beyond, like they're talking like block burgers is building for Decentraland, Sandbox, VR Chat, and continue to explore partnerships with all metaverses. So I think this is a really forward thinking project that's uh, minting tomorrow. Definitely one that I'm looking at. I really love the, the white paper. So uh, I think join that discord um, could be a good mint for tomorrow. But all these projects are just to say that you're only a few decisions away from really setting yourself up well. Again, this is not financial advice, but make sure to join the discord subscribe to this channel because I'm not doing a paid discord. I'm not releasing a token. I'm not selling anything. The only thing I'm doing is giving alpha to my friends. So please, if you could subscribe to this channel, like this, like this video and leave a comment below. Again, it's a lot easier for me to do free alpha if you guys are supporting me in this way. So please do this. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Sniper gang is growing so strong. Um, and we just have one more thing to say and that's gang.